if somebody would have told me that I would be in my thirties riding a bike with high heels on, filming a visual to a song that God gave me and Germany was on the song too, I would be like, not for real. September of 2019, I kept hearing the repetition of words in my head that I had never heard before. And it was a melody and it was a beat attached to it and it was a lot of bass. So I'm looking at my GPS, I'm driving and I'm listening to my friend vent about something totally unrelated. And I just kept hearing these words, where he at God, where he at God. And I'm like, what is that? And so I ignored it and, it and it came back. And so I had to stop my friend and I talked to God and I'm like, God, let me find out you want me to write a song. And so I put the words in my phone and then I just went along about my day. The next day I heard it again. And so I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? But then I immediately I started being afraid and saying, oh no, I'm not, I'm a creative, but I'm not that type of creative. I'm not an artist. Like I don't do songs, that's not me. And so God checked me, like the Holy Spirit checked me and was like, but didn't you tell me that if I could use anybody that I could use you? I did say that, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. So I was like, all right, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. The next day I woke up at 12.30 a.m. and God was giving me all these words and I promise you, it was coming so fast. I was like the Kermit Jeff on the typewriter. I was typing it in my phone as it was coming, but it didn't make sense as I was reading it. And so the following morning, I woke up again at the same time and God downloaded the rest of the song to me. And so I'm looking at it and I'm like, we're really doing this. The words to the song, the hook alone, reminded me of conversations that I had um, been a part of and just some conversations that I had heard in passing from men and women concerning when or if they would ever find their mate or if their mate would ever find them. And so I was like, this is perfect. It was in September. And that's around cuffing season. Y'all know what cuffing season is. And so I was like, this is perfect. Like I need to do something with this. But I was still, there was still a little fear there because again, this was uncharted territory. Clueless as to how I was supposed to get this done. Uh, God laid it on my heart to reach out to one of the pastors at my church that um, have been doing this for some time now and is actually very good at it past the Germany. We didn't know each other, so I was very nervous about reaching out to him because I just didn't know. But God told me, reach out, so again, I just obeyed. He was very kind, very nice to my surprise. It was refreshing to know that he was very resourceful. And I had just confirmed something that he had told me a couple of days before, and out of nowhere, Pastor Germany says, hey, by the way, do you need a feature? And I'm looking at this, message and i'm like huh you haven't even heard my song pastor <laughs> like, you don't even you may not even like it and he was like i got a feeling it's gonna be lit and i was just like my mouth dropped honestly because pastor german he's really really great at what he does and for him to not even have heard the words of the song and he agreed to be like on a verse I was just floored. And so I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so next thing I know, I did what I was told and you know, I sent him my audio. I didn't think nothing of it. I went, I left out for the night, I went to prayer. And so the next day when I woke up, I had in my phone the message saying, okay, I'm done. And it was a minute long verse and 
it was perfect. I can't imagine now looking back not having Germany on the song. And so I just want to say again publicly thank you. I honor you and I really appreciate the fact that you just make the song better than what it ever could have been. So thank you. You were on it back? Thank yep. you very much. All right, perfect. Get that vibe going. Now, Soma's going to cut this season is officially here. Got the sound account of fits bringing strong in my ear. Curving 50 miles an hour, and I can't even stress. Not the E beat, as the this is only a test. Was Marcus Houston in the chair? Like that single combo. I wrote a script for the video, distributed to everybody and said, hey, we're meeting this time. You know, it was like, lights, camera, action. At this time, be on set, be ready. And so people were, they were committed, they were ready. Out of nowhere, the night before the video shoot, I get a text message from the videographer that I had gave my deposit to, pretty much canceling without really an explanation and then they were completely unresponsive after that. So I panicked, of course, because people really sacrificed to, you know, support the vision. People got babysitters, took off work. I mean, people made sacrifices to support and I didn't take that lightly. So that's the only thing that made me not just cancel everything. I decided to call my makeup artist, Mandy, and I pretty much told her what was going on that the videographer canceled and she was shocked because I caught her right before she was about to go to sleep. Thank God I did because you know, she didn't want me to give up. So basically she was looking through her phone on Instagram to see who could possibly help me at the last minute because by this time it's 11, I wanna say it was like 11.15 at night this is the night before the video shoot, guys. So, the night before the video shoot, it's 11.15 p.m. and my makeup artist is helping me figure out another option. And honestly, a part of me was discouraged. I'm like, it's Friday night, people are, you know, asleep or they out and about, nobody's gonna respond. And you know, people booked and busy. She sent me a screenshot of an Instagram profile of a videographer to consider. I noticed a familiar face. I didn't know the person per se, but I remember that face. And my eyes got big because I was like, wait a minute, I know that person. Or well, I don't know this person, but I've seen him before. And so he just so happened to go to my church as well, but we didn't know each other. I just saw him in passing. I just went ahead and reached out because I didn't have anything to lose. Left him a voicemail and just said, well, okay, we'll see what happens. And then he calls me an hour later. And the first thing he said was, I'm so, so sorry, Chrishell, that you had to go through that. And then I just kind of exhaled because I knew that he was like my lifeline that was coming to pretty much save the day and save the shoot. He asked me a couple things about the concept of the shoot. I emailed him the script. And he was like, oh, this is very detailed. And thank God I did that prior because it was a smooth transition from the previous videographer. Carl was able to just step in and like help execute everything perfectly. He did everything that I asked him to do and more. So grateful to Carl that he moved some things around in his schedule and he took on my project. Um, within hours notice and he did it so professionally and I mean still to this day he's just and so it makes sense now like I wasn't supposed to have that videographer involved in the project it was ordained and meant for Carl all right so let's do this so everybody so come back just a little bit and then ladies go back fellas that's good all right so literally what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna literally as you're walking I'm just gonna circle around you with the camera, just a different angle. Yep, definitely walk slow. I mean, I'm gonna slow it up in editing, but. Hey, 
can't even come. I'm just freezing. <laughs> We were so cold outside. That Lake Michigan wind showed us no mercy. Like, y'all probably couldn't tell, but I was really stiff in a lot of the shots because, excuse me, I was freezing. Like, there's no other word for it. I was freezing. And so I'm just glad that everybody was a soldier to the end and just endured that cold with me because it was times when I was like, cut, cut, cut. I just need time to just catch my breath because the wind was literally, literally knocking us around. Yep, keep that vibe. That's good. That's perfect. Much better. Much, much better. That's real good. That is so much better. That's much better. Perfect. There's actually some footage that did not make it into the video. Carl had to take off because he had another appointment to fulfill. We were running behind on time. We were losing natural lighting outside. We were tired just from the day. And I know I was tired from the night before and definitely that day. Thankfully, Kelly Randall of Kelly Randall Photography. She's also the director of photography for the whole video project. All of the photos came from her. And so Kelly was able to capture um, us dancing, even though it didn't make it into the video. So here is a dancing clip from me and my former student, Angel, doing a little one-two step. They be like Jake. Uh -huh. Why they don't? <laughs> so what I would want people to take away from the song is basically to be patient and wait on God. Whether it's a mate that you would like to find you, or if it's a mate that you would like to pursue, whether it's a job of your desire, children of your own, whatever your heart's desire, I just charge you to just wait on God because his timing is perfect. I know it's a hard time for singles. It's the holidays. People always feel a certain type of way and they focus on things sometimes that they don't have, but I challenge you to focus on the things that you do have and just be grateful about that and realize that there is a reason why you're waiting. I mean, God's not gonna give you something that you are not ready for because unfortunately, you will screw it up, right? So like if you have a child and they're like 10, they have a trust fund and they got like, I don't know, $100,000 in there. There's no way you're gonna give a 10 year old $100,000. What are they gonna do with $100,000, right? 
That's the same way God works. If we are not ready for something, it's not no, it's just not right now. And so I just want people to be encouraged. I don't want people to be sad. I want people to be happy and just work on yourself and become the best version of yourself. Because I believe as you do that somewhere in your journey, God's best for you will appear. That way a little bit. Just walk for like three steps, keep going. Or just keep going till I tell you to stop. Okay, stop right there. Now summer's over, cuffing season is officially here. Got the sound of counterfeits ringing strong in my ear. Curving 50 miles an hour and I can't even stress. Not the EBS, but this is only a test.